Conduction occurs when energy is transferred from one atom or object to another. For conduction to take place between two objects, they must be touching each other. And for conduction to take place between atoms within the same object, they must also be touching or nearly touching. The energy from the object of higher temperature is transferred to the other object through their particles that are close or in contact with each other. Then the particles receiving the energy will also transfer the energy to other places within the object through their neighboring particles. During this process, only the energy moves, not the matter itself. Think of a metal spoon put in a cup of a hot coffee that you are about to drink when you suddenly remember that you have to do first a very important task. When you came back, you noticed that the handle of the spoon became really hot. How do you think this happened? The heat from the coffee is transferred to the part of the spoon that is in direct contact with the liquid by conduction. Then it is transferred to the cooler regions of the spoon through its particles. Why did you feel the spoon hot? When you touch the spoon, heat is also transferred to your hand by conduction. So your hand gain heat or thermal energy and this makes you feel the object hot. Another example of conduction is when you cook tupig which is a Filipino rice cake wrapped in banana leaves. The tupig gets its distinct flavor and aroma from wood and the stones. The heat coming from the fire is transferred to the stone. The stone then will transfer the heat to the tupig. Upon checking if the tupig is already cooked, you feel the hotness of the tupig. Some materials conduct heat more efficiently than others. This depends on the type of the material whether it is metal or non-metal. In this simulation, we will use metal, glass and ceramic rods, Bunsen burner, stopwatch, candle wax and tripod. The five rods will be put onto the tripod to test which rod conducts heat the fastest. The stopwatch will start automatically and stop when the candle wax falls from the rod. The simulation shows that the different types of rod causes the candle wax falls at different time. It reveals that among the five rods, copper is the most conductive while ceramic is the least conductive material. This means that metals are good conductors of heat while non-metals are poor conductor of heat. If you touch a piece of wood and a piece of copper metal that are both at room temperature about 21 degrees Celsius, which material feels warmer? The wood feels warmer than the copper metal even if they are both at the same temperature. Metal is a conductor while wood is an insulator. The wood does not conduct the heat away from your hands, so the wood feels warmer than the metal. How does conduction take place in a non-metal? As the graphite rod is heated, the carbon near the heat source begin to vibrate. The vibrations make adjacent atoms vibrate and so on along the rod. This is how heat is transferred along a non-metal. How does conduction take place in a metal? Metals like copper are good at conducting heat because they have free electrons which can move around between the atoms. The electrons help to transfer the heat energy faster. As the copper rod is heated, the copper atoms pass an energy as in non-metals. The electrons also gain energy but unlike the atoms, they are free to move around. This allows them to spread the heat energy to atoms further away.